Hello everyone, welcome to a brand new Let's Play on Banjo-Kazooie, one of my personal favorite games on the Nintendo 64, one of my favorite collectathon games. Um, I decided to choose the N64 version just in case I play Banjo-Tooie in the future because I've got something on my N64 that'll help me out for that, but uh, might as well just play some Banjo-Kazooie, you know, I, I just, let's play it. It's on the Xbox 360, I was debating whether to play it on the 360 or not. There are some differences between the 360 version and the N64 version. They're not major differences, but they're, they're enough to make it have a somewhat decent impact. So I'll just erase this file. Yeah, get rid of this one. All right, so let's start the game. I'm gonna get ready to hear some impeccable voice acting, by the way. <laughs> I wonder how many stupid voices I can think of for all these characters. <laughs> this is the real reason why I wanted to play this game. Just to think of <laughs> all these stupid voices I could I could do. I didn't really think about them, but <laughs> let's let's go for it. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Uh, but uh, there is this girl. What did you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, 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 no. You must be mad. Nicer beauty can't be had. Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> great, great voices I have, don't I? Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? Slow text. When my big lazy brother wakes up. We're going on an adventure. <laughs> it's too slow, man. I gotta keep slow text. You gotta keep up with me. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too. If I do Kazooie, it's gonna sound like Runty. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks, and ugly she'll be. Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? 
I can't see him. Well, up there, in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Gross. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody, help. Banjo, wake up. Ow. Oh, what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! <laughs> Little thing to point out, not important, but uh, in the Xbox version, the curtains don't move when they're fighting. I know, no one cares, but I care, slightly. So welcome to Banjo-Kazooie! Hello. Listen up! I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole! I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous up there. I wanted it to rhyme. So you probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want- Nah. No, just press B. I'll just teach you the moves because it's quicker. <laughs> it's just way quicker. Yeah, B, let's go. B. You bet we're good enough, bottle brain. Hmm. Very well. I'll give you your basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain. Alright. Let's go. Banjo Kazooie, platforming game. Uh, I'll just go with basic controls. Uh, obviously, you move around with the control stick. You jump with A. Press A again in the air. You can hover for a bit. Uh, press B when you're standing still. You can do little punches. If you're running and press B, you do a little cartwheel. Jump and press B. You do a pecky peck 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 attack. Uh, camera is the C buttons. On the Xbox, it's going to be the uh, right stick. Uh, press C to crouch. If you press B, you can do a little... Uh, dash attack, which for the longest time I thought it was this short range, but actually if you hold down the button you go way further. Um, if you crouch again and press A, you can do a backflip, and I think that's it for right now. So, let's go. Might as well just explore, and also actually, before I say anything, honeycomb piece. Mm. I'm sticky, tasty honey energy. Yeah, any anytime you pick up a new item, it's gonna it's gonna talk to you and explain what it does, so... The honeycomb pieces will restore your health if you ever lose health. So, there's that. Um, you want to explore this beginning area. Spiral Mountains are pretty good uh, tutorial area. As you know, a lot of people already probably said a million times. But it is a pretty good tutorial area. Learn all your moves and stuff. You do want to keep... You do, every time if you want to play through the game, you want to explore Spiral Mountain because you can get these. What are they? Tell me. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy. Yeah, so collect all six. There are six in this area, so you might as well just collect them all. Before you uh, head off and do whatever. Um, there would be more enemies there if you're doing a practice mode. Actually, we didn't do... No, let's just keep going this way. So uh, this area would teach you how to jump and stuff. So you jump. And you jump again. You can fly a little bit. You can backflip. Easy stuff. Get another honeycomb piece. Uh, oh yeah, we gotta swim. So you can swim in this game. I know, swimming level in a platforming game. Huh. I can't remember. Everyone's screaming, but you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. It really isn't. So, Banjo will paddle in the water. If you press B, you'll submerge into the water. If you hold down B, you can swim faster. If you just hold A, you just do a little paddle. Just in case you want to go slow somewhere. And you have a air meter on the side, so if you run out of water, you're pretty much dead. I don't know if you die instantly or drain your health slowly. I think you die instantly. I could be wrong. I don't know. But uh, I might find out in the future. 
But something I really don't want to do in this game is die. Now, if I was playing the Xbox version, I wouldn't really care about dying. But since I'm playing it on the OG, crusty N64, dying is going to be really annoying. Well, at least in the later levels. No. Well, I'll get to that once I get into one of the uh, actual levels, I guess. But if you go over here, you get this thing. Look out for me. I'm an extra life. Yeah, extra lives. Pick them up. Little statues. Get some extra lives. Extra lives are always good to get. But hopefully I'm not going to be needing them. But I don't know. Let's see what happens. It does... Banjo-Kazooie has the same problem. Well, I should say... Yeah, you know what? Might, might as well like this comparison right now. Since I kind of technically already played it. But, hey. We got an extra honeycomb piece. Um, I did play Earthworm Gym 3D. On a... It's just a normal walkthrough. I didn't really do a Let's Play of it on my channel. But um, that has the same problem that this game has. But uh, we'll get to that soon. Uh, let's walk up Spiral Mountain. Let's do... Let's just walk up. I know I can just backflip up the side. That's a speedrun shred. But let's just go up the normal Spiral Mountain. Just spin up. And there we go. So you're ready to tackle the witches now? The witches now? We sure are! Show us the way, bottle boy! Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. I'm trying to do like a strong sad, but it's I don't think it's working out too well. But uh, yeah, that was Spiral Mountain. I don't, that's, that's pretty much all you're going to get for Spiral Mountain. Unless you really want to go back and listen to the music, but Spiral Mountain really isn't used that much in this game. Or in Banjo-Tooie. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly bitch, a uh, witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo. Help! There he is. The fun begins. My tricks and traps. We'll see who wins. Yeah, yeah, whatever. So, uh, let's take a look at our main collectible of the game. Jiggies. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. Nice. Do a little jiggy dance. Alright, so I got a jiggy. Uh, let's go up here. Oh, wait. We can't. Alright, well, we'll come back to that later. Uh, let's go over here, because this is all we can go to now. Um, little door here. I guess we can't go in here. Let me in! Let me in! This is the first world, Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture. Yeah, like right here. Okay. So, in order to open up worlds, step on a platform, fill in a picture. To enter the world shown in the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces. Yeah, we got that. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great. To fill in this missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any of your jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. Well, let's go. Got nothing else to use on, so might as well. That's it. The picture's complete. And the door to the Mumbo's Mountain is open. To the Mumbo's Mountain. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Alright. Um, might as well just stop it here. Um, next time on Banjo-Kazooie, we will enter Mumbo's Mountain. I only really wanted to do the beginning tutorial section in this area and the opening cutscene open this up. So, uh... So next time, we will go into Mumbo's Mountain, explore what we have to do in there, and yeah, see you guys next time.